Welcome back. Uh, we're going to play our typical 10 minute Shogi Wars games. Um, I think last time we had won against some 2Q. Well, we were ranked 2Q and we won some games. Um, and we're still 2Q. So we'll try to get out of 2Q. But we'll just do our best and let the rating system, ranking system work itself out. Um, I have registered for the Shogi Teaching Ladder, so we'll be hopefully doing that this weekend as well. And it's been a while since we've had that as part of our video series here. Good luck. Wow, that was fast. Okay. I'm not opposed to playing a double swinging rook opening. Um, I guess my only opposition to it is that I'm not super familiar with all clients. Um, I'm not opposed to playing it anyway. There's our Mino Castle. Right. Um, let's push this edge. Let's push this edge. Take the center. Perhaps this is dumb. So I'm temporarily prone to a silver drop working rook and gold, but um, I think that's okay. Alright, so this is super weird. This is super weird. Um... For so many reasons. Let's run the king away so we don't accidentally lose our king to some bishop fork somewhere. That doesn't make sense to me. Rather, this encourages me to attack, so uh, I will attack. I thought this encouraged me to attack. Have I misread the situation here? Maybe I've misread this. No sense in creating a target there. Yeah, this is a strange formation because my opponent has trapped their pieces. Okay, so this is their plan to get untrapped. Interesting. I learned something new every day. Um, that's a bit risky. Alright, so, so I don't lose everything. I'm going to block this diagonal. Um... Now, this could encourage some exchanges in the center, but I think I'm set for that. Um, wow. 
Wow, tactics just keep flowing here. This is kind of amazing. Um, I didn't think they'd seriously do that. Okay, check the video capture. Video capture's good. Nice. Um, okay, I kind of get why they did it, but still, that's very surprising to me. All right. Well, one surprising move could be bet by another surprising move. That's fine. I think this gold 5-4 is original, but the point is that I want to attack this king. I mean, surely there must be other games where gold 5-4 has been played, but... Um, it's not very common, at least in what I've seen, that a player would do something that I've done here. And I'm expecting probably the silver will move to the edge, and I'm probably in trouble. I don't know what happened to this game. That's quite strange. Alright, so... I'm outnumbered here. I have to take. On the other hand, that is surprising. They don't want to move this gold. Right. Um, bishop, silver, gold, silver. So if we exchange, I am losing a gold. If we exchange. Um... Or I could cut my losses to a silver, but still. Go for me. My opponent doesn't want to take my pawn, though. But they're taking it anyway, but this weakens their castle. So confusing. They didn't want to go here. But, um, we're going here anyway. So if Lance takes, then Rook takes here as a fork. But since the Lance is not taken, now this pawn is hanging. So I get a free silver. Or some definition of free. Yeah. Um.
can use this to attack immediately. Nice move. Perhaps I needed to do a pawn drop somewhere first. Oh, wow. We are going places. We are going strange places. That just straight up does not make sense. Or at least to me, I have difficulty understanding what's going on. Um, Check. Let's just promote all the pieces right next to the king. That could be fun. Yeah, I think maybe I made a mistake. Time pressure is getting to me. My attack is too slow here, and I see no way to speed it up. Nifun. That's a really heavy start to... Oh, I could have done a night drop. Night drop would have been lighter. <sighs> Time is ticking. Hmm. We'll do the night drop anyway. I should have done it back here, maybe? No. Silver... S oh, their king is going to run away. Oh, that's not good.
Well, if they planned for it, their king would have run away. We had a really easy escape. Oh, let's do it this way. Now it's actually a little bit difficult. That stings a lot. Um, boom. This is going to hurt. Let's go, King. Let's go. So, yeah, my King is probably not surviving this attack. Interesting. Correctly spotted. I think. Again, time is ticking, so. I was. Hmm. I'm not so sure. I was thinking their king would escape, but perhaps something different is happening here. Right, so if I take that, I made it. But if I just keep running, how bad is this? Looks bad. Oh, there's the mate. Never seen that one before. Nicely done. Uh, let's play another game. Uh, yeah, yeah. On this site, um, I'm 2Q. On the other site, we see my... Good luck. On the other site, we see my other rating badge, so... Uh, or my other... Oh, I'm sorry, I haven't shown... Yeah, let's switch to this perspective. I meant to switch to that, my mistake. It's been a while since I've last done this. But, yeah, now we can see there's my 81 dojo rank. Oh my goodness. Wow. I forget what this thing is. Um, Alright, you know what? I don't usually play Static Rook, but I'm in a Static Rook mood all of a sudden, and I'm not sure why. But yeah, we're gonna go here. Let's go here. Alright, I don't know where my king belongs in this kind of shape. Uh, I can make left-hand Mino, right? But that's kind of silly, because that's... Yeah. Uh, let's get the king out of the center. As abstract a consideration as that is. Okay. That's spiffy. Um, well, here we go. We're going to drop, repeat the pawn drop again. Um, you wanted this, you got it, buddy. I have no idea where we're going, but. Here we go. Boom. Headshot. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I think our opponent might have got a bit addicted to whatever this is. Um Yeah. 
So they're out of pawns. For a while, I used to wonder why players didn't do this sort of thing all the time. Like, this looked extremely aggressive, so what could possibly be wrong with it? Um, and I think now we're starting to see the cracks in the armor. Um, okay. Okay. <sighs> Let's just continue going. Our king is safer than their king is, so this has got to be fine, right? So they're going to obtain... I mean, we've ex exchanged rooks. They're going to obtain my lance and promote their bishop. Oh, if they're interested. If they're not, that's okay, too. Um, that was so weird. That whole everything that just transpired. Um... Well, any of my pieces could close this diagonal, so... I guess we'll just uh, take our free silver and use it. Without trapping my bishop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know that's a rook. You're correct, that is a rook. So, would you care to exchange rooks? Mm -hmm. It's my turn, right? My turn to attack. Um, I think I'm covered against a rook drop. Alright, yeah, I was correct. Nanafun. So... Um... Yeah, this opening has been a bit disturbing. Let's just consolidate things a little bit so that only one king has lost this game. Yeah, earlier he had the option to do bishop takes lance promote. Um, and I had the option to start dropping my rook and taking all of his pieces and promoting my rook, and I'm not sure if I read that right, but I thought I was okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, let me fix my stream title. Uh, let's put a stream category. My mistake. Previously I had been watching chess. My mistake. Watching chess was fun though. Um. Alright, so my bishop is... well... This is such a strange position. Mm-hmm. 
We're going to do this striking pawn, even though I'm not completely sure in it. Or of it. Um, the idea is I'm going to follow with another pawn right behind it. Or I could do a rook drop and get the rook over here, but I don't see a point in that. So... Yep, now we have a pawn that threatens to promote. Oh, I should have done the... Okay. Yeah, I should have tried to promote on this square instead and draw forward their pieces. Anyway. Um, yeah, I was glad to get this in. Um... Yeah, there were so many tactics I missed in this game. Um. Go for me. I'm always having to check that I'm not opening myself to some ridiculous rook drop that just destroys everything. And so far I've been pretty careful about that. Alright, I'm a bit nervous about this silver move for aforementioned reasons. Or aforementioned reasons. Man, this pawn promotion on this file is super slow. Um, I don't know if this rook drop was correct, but this gold over here was not moving, so I felt it appropriate to do something. Uh, my reaction could have been very incorrect, though, because now they can sacrifice... well... oh, I see. That's even more clever. Um, nicely done. All right, well, running is probably the best option. Um, but let's try this first. Yeah, they've managed to save this, or salvage this game. Which had a really strange start. This is a sad place for a bishop, but I could not find a better... I mean, I could have... no, the drop from behind would just drop, lost my bishop to this gold. So this is probably the best place I could have stuck this bishop, but jeez. What a strange position. My bishop over here is still in the way of my pawn. Like, none of my pieces are coordinating that great at the moment. My king's out of the castle. 
just touring the countryside. Uh, and I've got three minutes on my clock. So. We'll see what we can figure out. I need to get my, well, my silver and my bishop somewhere toward that king. No, this website does not use Biomi. I'm Some a bit disappointed by that. All right, well, the rook's pinned, so this pawn move is just kind of a bluff, unless I'm misreading things. Me bringing the silver toward their king and then backing it up with my bishop? That's not a bluff. Definitely ready to start taking their stuff. I don't want to take this rook until I need to take it. But if they do pawn takes, I can take with the knight and then threaten to win the rook for a knight, so... Yeah, I'm sorry. No, they do have 10 second shogi. I could try that sometime, but not... Maybe once I hit one down in this category, we'll try uh, that. I don't know. Yeah, just bring back my bishop, take the pawn, take the knight, take the gold, take the silver, take all the things. Alright. Um. Not sure if I should be scared by this rook drop. In chess, you'd be terrified to take a rook or a queen anywhere near your king. And Shogi is like, okay, yes, that's a really heavy piece. But it's really the light pieces which are the scariest. Because they're not going to sack the rook for a knight. Who would do that? So. Okay. That's another free thing. Perhaps they came. Perhaps they were a chess player first and learned shogi second. And. Or I don't know. I'm not sure how this attack came about with two rooks all by themselves here. But, um. Yeah. My king should probably, again, make a run into the Mino. But, um. My attack here is so strong. All right. I say my attack is strong. Is it? How strong is my attack? How strong is my attack? Yeah. Well, you bring your king up, and you don't develop your other pieces, and you bring your rook into the middle, like, and then this pawn is just wedged in the middle of your position, and now you're panicking. Huh. Like, it reminds me of a student who decides not to pay attention during the lectures, not to read the course materials, and then, like, when it comes time for the midterm, oh no, how do I learn all this stuff? <laughs> um, I mean, that is an approach. Um, students do do that. <laughs> but yeah, panic would probably correct at this point. Um, but I don't know that it's constructive. And I think the lesson is maybe castle before attacking. Um,
Yeah, the uh, Road to Shodan series, episode one, is entitled Weak King Falls Easily. Um, it's not inaccurate. All right. Well, I'm in a fork. Look at all my things that are attacked at once. The rook is safe. The rook did survive this. Um. I need to be a bit careful because that's going to happen. Freaking gold has been such a problem. Thanks for the game. That gold! Oh dear, that gold sitting there the entire game. Never got any... Well, it, it did what it needed to do. It's very effective. Good luck. Alright. Oh, we're gonna do this again. Oh my goodness. Really? Where are we? I am so confused. Um Okay, we're closing this diagonal cuz I just don't understand what this is. the duck, isn't it? It's not the duck. It's Central House. Okay. Free pawn. <laughs> yeah, they're not even going to ask me to move my rook. Fine. Oh, that's not even a threat. Well, I'm sorry, once they put a pawn here, they're threatening to push. But, yeah, this is odd. I mean, this characterizes the way I play chess lately. Um, 
just light everything on fire. See how it goes. Um, in chess, my recent games have been kind of like this. Um, okay, can our king find shelter, please? Ignoring everything else that's going on here, can at least my king find shelter? Because that'd be cool. Half Mino. Good enough. Half Mino beats no Mino. So, um. Yeah, what a game. What a bizarre game we are having here. Perhaps my opponent really, really needs a promotion, and they're, that's why they're playing so aggressively. Um, I don't know. Like in chess, you'll see sometimes a player will just do the most dramatic things to try to win a game by force. And really these things that they end up doing throw the game instead of winning it. Um... Well, that looks familiar. That's a nice shape. Uh, no, it's my uh, 2Q is my Shogi Wars rank. I do not have a professional JSA title. They're not seriously gonna, like, line up the rooks here, right? Okay. I was concerned for a second there. Um... Oh, that's kind of funny. Yeah, how it translates like that. Yeah, the translation bot's kind of cool. Didn't know it would do that, though. Alright, well, that's another free pawn. Um, it's a bit unwise to take, but also unwise to not take, so we're taking it. Okay, that's a move. Um, let's go back. Hey, look, I prevented them from pushing this pawn. Also, their knight can't go anywhere. Also, I have a pawn in hand that can go on this square right in front of the knight. Um... So, things are going to get exciting here in just a second. Maybe I want to move my king before I do something insane, but, like, they can't stop the pawn drop. Like, I've got all the time in the world to put my king wherever I want to put it. And it's just a matter of figuring out where do I want to put the king. Is it good here? Do I want to move it so there's never a bishop fork? Um, yeah. Oh! Oh, well, that's fun. Yeah, I, I need to do this before I lose my mind. All right. 
、うん、7分うん、OK I've got that defended against、um. Before we start exchanging the universe, let's put the knight next to their king. Okay, now it's time to exchange the universe, I think. I don't know. Why today? Well, their king is not castled yet. That's a good indication, that's good timing. Um. Yeah, sure, why not? Free pawn? Thanks for the game. Thanks for the game. Not to be rude, but, um, I mean, I know some players, uh, some young players are encouraged to play out games to the very end. Because tactics can sometimes be missed. And so you can win games the, unexpectedly. But,、um, is that a fun experience? I'm not sure. Um. In my mind, games should be fun to play. And so, if you do enjoy playing, by all means, continue. That can be fun. But,、um, just if you do get frustrated later, try to remember what reasons could have contributed to that frustration. Yeah, he probably only gets three games per day, so he wants to play it out.、Um, I think even though I get three games per day, even if this was one of my three, I think I would be accepting that, you know,、uh, I can find some other site where I can play perhaps more than three games per day. And I can thoroughly enjoy playing on said other site. I'd not have to worry about some magic number three. Oh, wait, yeah. All right, so. All right. All right, all right.
Thanks for the game, I guess. All right, well, that was quite the series. We might want to match again, but not really because uh, we're out of games per day. So, yeah. Um, we stand it now. We went from 95.3 to 99.2. Whatever. Like I said, it's just a number. Uh, I don't know how many other numbers we're going to have to encounter along the way of that infinite continuum between zero uh, percent and a hundred percent but um you know we'll eventually get there we'll just play our best yeah poor guy maybe he was on the uh i didn't look at his numbers but um yeah if you're limited to so many games per day um maybe that has something to do with that i don't know but yeah this is uh uh this is Shogi Wars, obviously. Um, it's somewhat cathartic, just given all the pop-ups and noises and sound effects and flashing lights and stuff. It's, in some sense, enjoyable in that strange way. Uh, strange is not the right word, but some players enjoy it. It's perhaps addictive, perhaps fun. Depends how much you do of it. So three games per day is probably enough for me. Yeah, thanks for watching.